Um, we're just changing the head dim uh, lamps halfway up in the cab in this new Holland here. These are pretty popular, these UTV inserts. Um, they're the UTV 337s. So that's just the one we changed the other side. So it's just a, a Hella lamp which had a H4 bulb. And they're a 55 watt bulb and um, like they, they can be 10, 15 euros each. So um, if you replace them a few times over the lifetime of the tractor, um, it, it can become quite expensive. Um, plus the, the light from UTV is a lot bigger there. Two 250 lumens in low beam, and I think there were three 750 lumens in um, high beam, so they're much, much brighter. So, if we just take this one out of the box here, when they come in the box, they come all wrapped up, but they actually have a three pin plug that'll plug straight in to the, um, to the plug on the tractor. So, you can see that's our it's an LED beam compared to or hell lamp with the bulb um, and, and as I said they'll just plug straight in so we'll just remove that one um, you can even see there that one's even full of water just full of water and moisture at the moment and that's not good for the bulb so it's all even full of condensation in there as well so we're going to put this one in and, and make sure the seal is alright and the drain is on the bottom um, so just grab a screwdriver there three screws on the lamp um, these are a pretty big seller for us actually, these, um, these inserts. Probably takes about the, the same amount of time to change the complete lamp as it does just to change a bulb, so. So I've got them screws out. The lamp is out, see all the water come out of that. It's not the only New Holland in the country that has that problem. So that's just a plastic surround. There is a seal on it, on the lamp here as well, which obviously wasn't working too well. And then it's just three pin plug on the back, we'll plug that out. You can see it full of condensation water in there just get a rag and give that a bit of a wipe out so now our UTV lamp three pins in the back here they'll just plug straight in so that's plugged in now the lamp is actually top is labelled on it. It's a little hole in the bottom of the insert there just to let the water out so just make sure that goes on the bottom when we're putting the cover back on. So we just flick our lights here to the handrail and we'll turn them on and we'll have a look at them out the front. 